In these problems, we're working on calculating the surface area of rectangular pyramids. So a rectangular pyramid's got some kind of rectangular square down at the bottom, and then these four triangle sides or faces. So to calculate the surface area, we want to figure out the area of that rectangle down at the bottom. That's not too hard. And then the area of each of these triangles. Now you'll notice in this one, since this side is four, this side over here is going to be four. So these two triangles on opposite sides are going to be the same. And then since this side is eight, similarly over here it's going to be eight. So these two triangles are the same. So to add up all the pieces here, we've got a square. We've got two skinny triangles with a four base. And then we've got two wider triangles with the eight base. So those are all the things where we have to find their areas and then add them together. And that's going to give us the total surface area. Well, let's start with this rectangle. That's pretty easy. The uh, area of a rectangle is 4, is length times width, in this case 4 times 8. Now, let's go after our skinny triangle here. What we need to figure out the area of a triangle is the base and the height. Now the base is no problem, we've got 4, so so far we've got 1 half, 4 times, but the height here, we want something that goes down like this and forms a perpendicular. Well, to figure out what that height is, we're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. Since we're bisecting here, we can assume that this side is 2 and this side is 2, and we can look at this triangle right here and say 2 squared plus b squared equals 8 squared. So that's what I'm going to do. 2 squared plus b squared equals 8 squared. So that's 4 plus b squared equals 64. So b squared equals 60, after I've subtracted 4 from each side. So b equals the square root of 60, and that's our height. So I'm going to put it in up here, square root of 60. So that's one of those triangles. And remember, we've got 2 on opposite sides. So we've got 2 times 1 half four times the square root of 60. All right, we've only got two triangles left, these uh, ones with the, the eight-foot bases. And again, we'll split this in half, so we've got four, and then this side here, just like this side here, is going to be eight. So we've got an eight there, four, eight. And you might know that um, when you've got a triangle with a ratio of one, two, the other side is going to be square root of, of three. And so the, the height here is going to be 4 times the square root of 3. You could also just use the Pythagorean theorem again and say uh, 4 squared plus b squared equals 8 squared. So you get 16 plus b squared equals 64. Or b squared equals 48. b equals the square root of 48. And we'll just go ahead and use that. Either way, it would be the same thing. And so this is going to be 2 times 1 half times 8 times the square root of 48. All right, I've gotten a little complicated, a little crowded in here, but we've got our square on the bottom, I mean our rectangle on the bottom, we've got our skinny triangles, we've got our wider triangles. All we have to do is punch all of this through the calculator and figure it all out. Let's see, 4 times 8 is 32. When I punch out these, this one, I'm going to get... 31 or so. When I punch out this one, I'm going to get 55.44. I add all of those together and I get 118.44. And the measurements were in feet, and this is area, surface area, so it'll be square feet. All right, that's one. Let's try another. All right, this one's pretty similar. Again, we're going to have our square, we're going to have two of our triangles with the base of six, and we're going to have two of the triangles with the base of eight. And once again, we'll need to figure out the heights for these triangles so that we can figure out the area. When I drop a perpendicular here, what I get is sides of 3 and 10. So if I, if I were to use the Pythagorean theorem, I'd say 3 squared plus b squared equals 10, uh, 10 squared. 
and b squared would equal, let's see, 100 minus 9 would be 91. So b would equal the square root of 91, or about 9.54. So that's for one triangle. Um, let's, let's go ahead and put in the formula for the area. So we've got 2 times 1 half the base, which is 6, times the height, which we just figured out now is 9.54. All right, let's work on the triangle with a base of 8. So dropping a perpendicular there, I get sides of 4 and, well, this side is going to be 10 because this side is 10, 4 and 10. So I get 4 squared plus b squared equals 10 squared. Let's see, 100 minus 16, we're going to have b squared equals 84. And that's about 9.17. So this is 2 times 1 half the base, which is 8 times the height, 9.17. And then, of course, our rectangle on the bottom is just 6 times 8. And we add all these guys together. So 6 times 8 is 48. Uh, this one comes out to 57.24. And this one is 73.36. Add all those up, and I think you get about 178.6. And this was in feet squared because it's area. So that's how to calculate the surface area of rectangular pyramids. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at Edvisions Off-Campus School. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.